Good Thursday morning. It's October 28th, 2021. I'm Guy McPherson of Nature Bats Last. You can find Nature Bats Last at guymcpherson.com. I would recommend you go there to see the three papers that I'm going to refer to in this version of the science update. The first of these occurs at Study Finds. And the title is Scientists Discover Prehistoric Girl in Indonesia, a new type of ancient human. Researchers discovered the 7,200 year old remains, actually between 7,200 and 7,300 years old, of the girl's body in Liang Paninj, located on Sulawesi's southern coast. And I'm pretty sure I've pronounced most of those words incorrectly. Study co-author Adam Brum, a professor at Griffith University in Australia, says the genome represents a previously unknown divergent human lineage which does not appear anywhere else in the world today. That's the big part of this story. Recent discovery finds a new lineage of modern humans looking a lot like us that is no longer with us. It, that population has been extirpated. This is how extinction begins, by extirpation of populations. And it occurs slowly at first and then all at once. And I'm sure you've heard that line of a time or two. Continuing from the study finds paper, the analysis showed the individual is related to the first modern humans to spread to Oceania from Eurasia some 50,000 years ago. Scientists believe early humans used the island as a stepping stone. Interestingly, her Denisovan ancestors are known mainly from archeological digs in Siberia and Tibet. So this is a modern human from a while ago, and she resembles other humans found far from where she was found. The findings for this paper appear in the journal Nature, and I'll get to that after a little bit more of the popular press. This from the newsroom at the Max Planck Institute from August 25th, 2021, researchers were able to isolate sufficient genetic material from the skull of an individual buried more than 7,000 years ago on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi. It belonged to a hunter-gatherer society and was interred at the site now called Liang Peninj, which means bat cave. A large part of the genetic code matched that of today's Papua New Guineans and Aboriginal Australians Yet portions of the genome did not match these groups. This brings new surprises about the evolution of modern humans. And I'm personally a little bit more concerned about the disappearance of modern humans than the evolution of modern humans, but it's all part of the same puzzle. Finally, going to the paper, the peer-reviewed paper in the renowned journal Nature, this written by Selena Karlhoff, the PhD student mentioned earlier, and 27 other authors. It appeared in Nature on August 25th, 2021, and it's titled Genome of a Middle Holocene Hunter-Gatherer from Wallacea. Demographic, this, this from the main part of the paper, demographic models infer a population split between the ancestors of o Oceanian and Eurasian groups approximately 58,000 years ago, whereas Papuan and Aboriginal Australian groups separated around 37,000 years ago. So that's a significant difference. Within this time interval, modern humans admixed, means had sex with, multiple times with groups related to Denisovans and potentially other unknown hominins. So the real take-home story, at least from my perspective, is that yet again a new population of modern humans has been found that has disappeared. When a population of a species disappears, that's called extirpation. And when you extirpate all the populations, that's called extinction. We are, as most people know who are watching and listening to this video now, we are on the verge of human extinction because we've been losing populations. We haven't really noticed so far. There, if, it is, if it hasn't affected you or your family or your friends, you probably haven't noticed that people are dying in droves. More than five million people a year are dying as a result of 
improper temperatures for human survival. And I've reported on that research in this space before. In any event, we're losing habitat. It's been happening for a long time. I strongly suspect the last remaining members of this newly discovered but ancient Homo sapiens group, I strongly suspect that a few of those individuals were sounding the alarm about losing habitat and their near-term loss of that species, the extirpation of those species. But people didn't listen. This is how the, the whole situation ends up. When you don't listen to the people who are informed, people who are noticing what's going on, the people who are making the relevant observations, then the word doesn't get out. And here we are, the word largely not getting out. Thank you for staying tuned. Please like, subscribe, and check all those boxes. Join as a member if you'd like. And we look forward to producing another one of these videos in about a week.